Stage 13 comes on Friday the 12th of July and it looks very much like the last opportunity for the sprinters before they reach the Champs-Élysées in nine days' time. There is one categorised climb en route. It looks like another stage where the wind could play a role in the final outcome. Here's exactly what they face. Stage 13. This is another day for the fast guys. The 176 kilometres from Tour to saint amand montrand only includes one climb which shouldn't trouble the sprinters. It seems almost impossible that a break will make it to the finish, however it will be a surprise not to see a break getting away early. Despite knowing that the chances of staying away are very slim, many teams will still be interested in showing their sponsors' names on TV. The wildcard teams will be particularly eager to put a rider into the breakaway and it's also a good chance for riders without a contract next year to show their names. After 77.5 kilometres it's time for the only climb of the day, the Côte de Crotte. It's only a category 4 climb and with 100 kilometres to go it's 1.2 kilometres with an average gradient of just 4% won't trouble even the heaviest riders in the race. Right after Côte de Crotte, the feed zone comes up in Le Vru. From here on, the route continues east towards the intermediate sprint in saint estrie before heading south towards the finishing line in saint amand montrand There is a small hill coming up with 9 kilometres to go, but with an average gradient of just over 3%, it shouldn't really jeopardise the expected bunch sprint. The last 5 kilometres are flat, and knowing that they won't get another chance for a number of days, the sprinters can't afford to miss out today. A sprinter has won stage 13 of the Tour de France four times within the last five years, and dare we say that today is a golden opportunity to continue that tradition. Well, if this stage looks like one for the sprinters, stage 14 looks like one for the breakaway riders, and as usual, you can get our detailed preview right here on GCN.